Hi, I'm Jimmy Lick. I'm from Draw Riders TV Productions, and today we're going to be filling in hair and eyebrows in Photoshop. First thing you want to do is go to File and click Open and bring in your photo. Then you want to hit Control J, that just duplicates your original photo, that way you don't mess it up. I usually like to take the eye off of the background. Go back to layer one. The next step that we're going to be doing is taking the clone stamp tool and we're going to be sampling parts of the hair that are there um, and sampling them and putting them in places that the hair is not. So you want to click on the clone stamp tool. In, in order to sample it, you need to hold down Alt, click once, and that samples it, and now you're ready to just kind of click and drag. And you're basically just going to be brushing in that hair. If you get to a spot where you need to resample, you can do so as many times as you need to. So you can keep doing that as long as you want until you fill in the entire head. Um, we're basically going to be doing the same thing with the eyebrows. So you would save this image and then bring in your eyebrow picture. Again, we're going to duplicate the eyebrow, turn off the background so we can't mess with it. Go over to your clone tool. It's a little bit tricky. You may want to duplicate this again because we'll be using both layers. Control J. Take the clone tool. Sample the thickest part of the eyebrow. And then wherever you see spots that need to be filled in, you just take that sample and kind of run across it. So I click and drag. Once you find that spot, you just click and drag all around it until it fills in. You may need to resample re this also. I suggest taking your brush and stroking it with the grain, you know, with the hair. That way it doesn't create clumps. You pretty much create like a straight line so it looks more natural when it fills in. There we go. Up here we have a little spot. Just brush right over that. And that's pretty much it. You can see if I take off the eye, it fills it in quite nicely. And to make it a little bit more natural, what I'll do is I'll take the layer that I've worked on, that I filled in, and I will lower the opacity. And then I'll kind of just mesh them together a little bit more. It'll create more of a natural look. It'll bring in the old image, but still it'll look filled in. If I bring it down the opacity to about 50%. Once you're done with that, you go to File, and Save As, and create a new image. And that's pretty much it. I'm Jimmy Lick from Drew Riders TV Productions, and that is how we fill in hair and eyebrows in Photoshop.